got over 210 students here this year from, the, from around the New England Northwest, which is the highest number that we've had before. We started off in 2009 with 27 students and $400 in prize money. And this year we've got, as I say, 211 students and over $4,000 in prize money. Well, I think one of the wonderful things for students is they get to show their project. They get to, you know, they take that project outside of the classroom where, you know, usually you're working on a project and you work on it from school, you might be able to show it to your parents at home. That's the extent of it. But in this, with these science investigation awards, they get to bring the project to the University of New England. They get to have it judged by 30 judging scientists. And, you know, it's an opportunity to meet us. Not many students get to actually meet real life scientists, so it's a fantastic opportunity for them. And they get to have a look about what other people's projects are as well. So it gives the, gives the teachers ideas for next year as well as it gives the kids ideas of what they, they could have done or would do. And you know, it's a great opportunity for the kids. You can tell that they, they've loved doing the projects and, and it just is, you know, all credit to their teachers who are bringing out that that love of science in the students. It's something unique for the for the students and you know perhaps the Amdor students are used to having the university at their doorstep but the students that have come from Gunnar in Braille, you know, further afield, it's a fantastic opportunity for them to come and have a look at the university and 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 present their projects while they're at it. The judges also speak to the students and ask them quite in depth questions about how they did their project and, and why and you know, what their conclusions were, that sort of thing. So it's, you know, it's really quite interesting. We're so lucky to have people within the university who have volunteered their time to do these activities with the students. They've done fossil making, they've done, you know, how to make aspirin, they've been over to Animal House and watched sheep have an MRI, they've, um, and they've been to zoology and they've, you know, seen, they've just had such a broad spectrum of experiences and, yeah, it shows them what they can do when they leave school, that they can come to university, they can study science and what the different areas of science are that they can do. It's it's a great great thing for the kids to have a look to the future and see what they might want to do and how many opportunities there are in the world of science. <laughs>